All right, it was the second day of crab season. Really didn't expect to get out today. I had plans, but then plans change, so I scrambled together at last second and loaded up and came over. There's a, I guess, a neutral tide right at zero, so surf might be decent, but there's kind of a drop in the swell, so I don't really know what it's going to look like. Um, I packed up my kayak with the budget system. I was given this kayak. I was given the one of my two rings. Rolling on a budget. So, gonna go check the surf. See if surf's good. If surf's good, then maybe I'll paddle out. If it's not, then I will move on and see about grabbing some crabs and checking another spot. Um, if surf's good, I'll probably try and see about crabbing after dark. First day, daylight savings definitely making a difference. I have no idea what I'm looking at. The ladder is still here. That's sad. Not nearly as big as I thought. Not rough. I don't know. Definitely not what I expect to see at this beach. Yeah. And not much swell. It's supposed to be like eight foot, dropping down to like five foot in the middle of the day and then back up to eight foot. I guess we're in the, the, the five foot section. That's Mendo for you. Raining, cold as hell. Still got a kid out here in shorts and a t-shirt. Or shorts and no shirt. I freeze my ass off in a wetsuit. It's trying. Sandbars there. That's not all right, wave. Okay. Just one long wait. Not worth getting something called for. I guess we're going down the beach. Going to the next one. All right, so we gotta be quick. It's 3.30, sun sets at five. Things getting dark early with the daylight savings. So I decided that I'm gonna come out here to Casper. There are no waves. So, I mean, there's some little waves here, but there are no real surfable good waves on the coast. So I'm gonna go ahead and try and make it out through the little, little, little beach break. I think I should be okay, even though I've, what, I've been in the ocean once in a kayak, or been in a kayak once. Um, so we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go surf in the kayak. Why not? Like, let's jump in the deep end, huh? Or the shallow end, because Casper's pretty shallow. Uh, should be a good fun. We'll see. Right. We going for it. Uh, I gotta show you my my makeshift rack here. It's given the, the kayak, they said. So we make do with the rack. Uh oh, we got 20 minutes. 28 minutes on the SD card. I guess we'll be keeping it quick and sweet today. Given this two ring because it was already kind of tore up and then I think the bear chewed it up because of the scent on it at home. So we'll see how well this one does. I'm gonna have to figure out how to tie up the chicken in here because I just don't have that much room exposed. So, I mean, that much net left. Too much room exposed. Beep, beep. All 
Alright, well, I'll show you guys when I'm done. Got my old paddle, my old kayak. Yes, time to go get demolished. There are breaks, but there are also some little sets. So every now and then, there's a three-footer. They're smaller on this side of the beach, but a little more often. I don't know. My goal is just swim the kayak out and then jump on it. But I kind of feel like that's cheating. I'm not giving the ocean a chance to get me. I'll lose the range before I can get in. So I gotta do some work on this kayak eventually. Put some PVC outriggers on it, I think. It's a bit skinny compared to the newer kayaks. Set up some pole holders and something for my two rings. But the maiden voyage is just gonna go for it. Oh boy, here we go. I think I made it. Maybe not. Oh boy, here we go. I made it! This thing is super lovely. Hey, it's not letting me drop my pups out. I don't feel like wobbly like I did last time. Yet. I don't know how far out I should drop them. Huh? It feels as good as anywhere for starts. I probably could have set up my rope better on shore. Right. That's too deep right here. And I do feel the wobbles already. Let's see if I get sick today. Here, drop the other one over here. Woo! Yeah, I could use some pontoons on this thing. See how far away I am. I don't really feel like going out very far. It's not really, not very deep right here. So, I'm a little concerned if I got enough float or not. I don't really know what I'm doing. Alright, let's go catch a wave. We just so eat catching a wave on this thing. This thing is not stable. Okay, my pots don't wash away. I didn't put weight in them, but I don't, I don't think I do need to. Tide's coming in. So. I should probably go over to the side of the beach instead of sitting in the middle looking for a big wave. But we're going to go for it. Why not go for it? Okay. I really don't know when to catch a wave on this thing. I feel like I'm proud of the nose. I probably am. Can't lean back much. I wish I could lean back a little bit. Yoo! Oh, there it goes. Didn't catch it, but didn't eat it. Some pontoons, and I can do this. All right, I caught like two waves. It's been probably at least five minutes. So, quick soak. We'll see if we got anything here. Thank you. 
was I should probably face into the waves instead of sideways as I'm pulling it up. It's really funny sometimes the things that actually help with depression. Like, I thought thinking about it would help. It didn't help me at all. Oh, and a great day out here, though. Would be nice to get some actual crowd stuff. Yeah, still just a little one. You can move on. At least I know that I can get in and out of the surf now. Oh, 
Now, do I be stupid and try and catch a wave with the gear, or do I just try and get in? You probably just try to get in. So, of course, here comes the shot. I'm going on the small end. People make wheels for these things. That's a short beach. And I'm out of breath. Yeah. So, there are crabs here at Big River. Um, but, the end of the season last year, I stayed here until midnight on closing day and tossed back 75 smalls to get four keepers. So those are not very good ratios. Well, tide is really... I'm pretty low too right now. Should be starting to come in, but we'll see if I get anything. I might be getting stuck for opening day. Not like stuff. Like I said, there are crabs here, but I guess I'm getting low on battery and storage, so we'll see. <laughs> Alright, so got the new battery in it. Tangled up more than any other rope I've ever owned. Like it just mysteriously ties nuts. Of course, I'm not very good with it either. getting pretty dark so I'm gonna film for one pull see if I got something and film it and if not then I'm just gonna film when I get back let's show you guys what I got if I get something tonight like I said there are definitely crabs here but they're usually pretty small yeah see tons of tiny ones on them baby dungies. They're all cute, but... Uh, 
things. Still don't want to get pinched. Come on, give me one big one. Probably should have spent my time over here instead of at Casper with the the kayak, but oh, I'm snagged. There's a decent sized one. Might be enough to get the gauge. No, that's small. Ooh. That's a small. It's a small crab after all. Let go. If it was a rock crab, that'd be a nice rock crab. Nope. All right, well, I'll come back if I get something to eat. Yep, bunch of smalls, like I said. Let's see. I think I'm gonna have to spend a little more time on the kayak and dedicate a little more cover a little more ground instead of playing around quite as much get a couple more rings and cover some ground find out where they are and then focus on them but all right no crab on the first day of season bummer